The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 312. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is the co-founder of Society Staples, and she's here to share her story on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Deborah Lamb. Hey, Deborah, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more by yourself to the listeners. Sure. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, so as she nice introduced, uh, I'm Deborah, the co-founder of Society Staples. I'm currently 23 this year, um, and I'm also taking my undergrad in psychology and sociology. So I'll just share a little bit about what Society Staples does. So we are a social enterprise and we want to create a more inclusive future, starting with Singapore. So we conduct team building workshops, community events and school programs to empower and enable individuals and organizations to do more for the inclusive movement and also to raise awareness about persons with disabilities in general. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And, and Deborah, what's your cultural background? Okay, so my cultural background is um, I'm a Chinese Singaporean. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? So I have two quotes um, to share with the audience today. So the first one would be to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. And the second one is to constantly figure out what we don't want to do so that we can eventually get closer to what we like and want to do. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's something we can all relate, right? Trying to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. I know sometimes at first it does get uncomfortable, but the more we do stuff like that, the easier it does get in for us when we when we encounter, you know, uncomfortable situations. We're going to encounter it all the time, right? Right, so, definitely. So it's better to just get used to getting comfortable with the uncomfortable. So I really love that quote that you mentioned. And Thank you. Not a problem. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? So self-confidence actually means a couple of things to me. I think the very first one is to stand strong by your values and, you know, really having that courage to do and pursue things that make you happy and to also step out of your comfort zone to challenge yourself in things or situations you are unfamiliar with. And I think, you know, probably because it's the Asian context, so Singaporeans or rather myself, I I tend to um, sometimes be a little too hard on myself in times of failure, especially. So self-confidence is also, you know, allowing yourself to exercise that graciousness and kindness um, to yourself when you fail, just like how you would do to, you know, others as well. And I think lastly, it's also about being able to acknowledge and accept your faults and weaknesses and, you know, constantly work to being a better person tomorrow. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's something most Asian women can deal with, you know, being hard on our failures. Probably how we were brought up, especially in school. It's like, yes, you know, kids are pressured. You can't fail at all. Yeah, kids feel pressure to, you know, keep doing well in school. I mean, I went to high school in the Philippines and a passing right. passing grade here was 80%. <laughs> so, oh, oh which, my God. Which, okay. is, which is insane. I mean, it's great to go for excellence, but I mean, right. it's also okay if we don't get everything right. <laughs> You know, we have to learn to be kind to ourselves and not always be so hard on ourselves. So I really love the definitions that you mentioned. And Deborah, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? Okay, so I actually wouldn't say that I'm very self-confident now. But, you know, if you compare myself right now to maybe about two to three years ago, I have definitely progressed. So I used to be really, really afraid of trying new things. And I really hated, you know, uncertainty or risks and doubts the slightest bit of it will take me off. So I always question, and I think people also always question me, you know, and why did I choose to become a social entrepreneur? Because running a business is exactly that, right? It's very uncertain and it's extremely risky. Yeah, so, so that was kind of my life before I was, you know, kind of avoiding things that I was unfamiliar with. I never dare to step out of my comfort zone. Thanks for sharing that. That's something most women can go through, right? Especially, you know, uncertainty. Like, it's so, like... You know, it's scary. It's such a big word. Yeah, yeah. it's scary sometimes because we don't know what could happen. And some most of us would think of the worst things, not realizing we can just switch that in an instant and just think of something wonderful. Like uncertainty can be a great thing if you can expect good things into your life. You know, just attract that, that thing, have that good, you know, attract what you want, you know, have good energy. And, and it, you know, it just takes a second to change that thinking. And I think yes. that's that's what's missing. It's just that change in thinking. And, you know, it's these little small things that can really 
make a big progress progress in your life. And what was that aha moment when you realized you were more than enough to go out there and do the things that you love? I think it was more of a natural progression and build up. So I can't really pinpoint a particular moment per se. But I guess, you know, it's just through all the life experiences that I've gained and also the experiences of running my own enterprise, I slowly learned how to deal with all these negative emotions. And I think like you mentioned earlier, you know, to change my thinking as well. I and mean, I guess, you know, being a, a running your own business, you have to be a little bit thick skin, right? So you have to go out to, you know, tell people what you do, or you have to try and get sales. So, you know, having to put myself in, in those positions really made me realize that the, the change in thinking is, is, is the first step to, to really believing in yourself more. And I guess that has worked out for me pretty well. Thanks for sharing that. You know, it's great. Something as just a change in thinking can really make a big difference in your life. And, you know, because of these life experiences and running your own enterprise and change in thinking, what's your life been like now? So definitely my my experiences have taught me a lot to be able to sit with the discomfort and, you know, to work things through um, even in times of uncertainty and risk. And I've also come to accept the fact that I will never be able to find answers for everything and that's perfectly okay. And you know, sometimes even when you're unsure or uncertain of, your, of yourself, that's perfectly normal too. So everyone is um, experimenting and you know, people fail when they experiment. So it, it's okay for you to fail so long as you are able to, um, to get back up. Thanks for sharing that. And it's great that, you know, something that was negative before you can see it in a positive life, light and just keep going and just like, you know, do things like run your enterprise, be a, a change in the world that we we love, right? Um, just shifting people's perception right. of things. So, you know, thanks for sharing that. And, and you know, to the, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? I, I think everybody really knows this, that life is definitely going to be tough. So it's, it's really nice to just be able to invest in areas of your interests and not what people tell you to be. You know, to always pick the battles that you're willing to fight for and never stop, you know, giving up on, on the road of pursuing your goals. Thanks for sharing those tips. And I like that you mentioned invest in your own interests because, you know, especially for Asian women, it's so it's so challenging for them to do that, especially, you know, when all your life you've been told what to do. And, you know, because that most, yes. most women feel like they can't trust themselves, they doubt themselves, they feel like they're not capable of do, doing the things that they love. And, you know, this was one of the reasons why I created this sh um, show is to show them what's possible to see there's so many women out there who deal with the same issues, but yet is able to have the courage to go out there and do it. So I really love what you mentioned there as a, as a great tip, which is invest in your own interests. And I think that's so important. And, you know, if our listeners wanted to connect with you and get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles you can share with us today? Oh, definitely. Uh, one way you can connect with me is through Society Staples' uh, Facebook page. That's S-O-C-I-E-T-Y, Society and Staples, S-T-A-P-L-E-S. -E you can also go to our website, which is societystaples.com.sg. Uh, if you want to connect with me personally, then you can either find me on Facebook or LinkedIn profile as well. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Deborah, you, you can also head on over to the com and search for Deborah's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just want to thank Deborah for taking the time to share her story with us. So thank you so much. No problem. I had a lot of fun. Awesome. It was great having you on the show and share your story. So listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com to check out cool resources, blog articles, show recaps, and so much more. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.